Ever since my head was shaved last season, my hair is growing in all patchy and uneven. I have tried everything. Lotions, lasers, traditional Burmese medicine. <laughs> oh, loser shaman! It's about time someone realized who's the most valuable player here. I mean, seriously, people. I am hereby forming Local 1 of United Workers Against Chris. Who's with me? Everybody? As annoying as hanging around Harold would be, he'll make an easy-to-persuade Alliance member. And right now, Milady needs all the help she can get. Prima Ballerine, no! My vote, plus Shauna and Harold's, equals the greatest day of my life. Bye-bye, Gwenny. I could have forced them to stay, but it's not like they'll help us win. I mean, in medical terms? Please. Those two will only come in handy if the challenge is about piercings or plus-size shopping. As in me, duh. That's what they call a prize? Right. All we need after today is a disaster-themed vacay. It kills me that Lindsayet has all that hair on her head when it's her fault that I lost mine. I would have chopped it off. But all I had was a hairbrush. I have got to get me some hair. Not Lashana's gross weave or Beth's pathetic ponytail. And I'm way too smart to be Lindsay blonde. But Courtney's? Hers would be perfect. I'm just going to borrow these, okay? I got some! Courtney's hair. Soon it will be mine. All mine. <laughs> what? I'm not crazy. I'm just bald. Reward challenges are such a waste of time. I wish we had a gilded Chris ceremony every night. Let's get on with it already, so I can get my million bucks and get a decent makeover. I mean, a supersized serving of meat? Who cares? I've got something better. Courtney's hair! No, you can't have it! It's mine! Well, okay, it was Courtney's, but I took it, which makes it mine! Ugh, it won't come off.